Hey everybody, this is Gary, the fist pump guy. Today's video on the 2020 Toyota Corolla SE. Has a lot of standard features and you're not gonna wanna miss this one, so stay tuned. This 2020 Toyota Corolla is a brand new design. Now this is the SE model and it looks great. You can tell it's sporty by its sport mesh grille and all of its accents that you have around the vehicle. LED low and high beam standard on this vehicle, along with your LED accent lighting and daytime running lights. It's a great looking car, great body lines on this. It definitely looks sportier than it has in the past. You have your 18 inch machine finish alloys with your gray painted accents, look great, sport suspension. I really like the trim down here at the bottom. It gives it a nice sporty look. You will have blinkers on the mirrors. Okay, you will have your body colored matched shark fin antenna. Rear lip spoiler gives it a nice look. You also have black mesh around the back, chrome tip, dual exhaust. You have your LED tail lights and stop lights and your smoked lenses. And of course, your SE badging. Quick look at the side. Let's take a look at the drivetrain. Now, it's important to point out that on your SE and XSE trim for the 2020 Corolla, you do have a different drivetrain. Now on the SE that we're looking at here and the XSE, you'll have a 2.0 four-cylinder engine. So it's a two-liter four-cylinder engine, okay? This one's paired with a dynamic shift constant variable transmission, okay? Well, basically what that does is give you a launch gear to help you take off faster. Now, all the other trims will have a 1.8 four-cylinder engine, okay? This one will put out 169 horsepower versus the 139 horsepower on the regular gas. Uh, engines with a 1.8 and also 151 foot-pounds of torque versus the 126 foot-pounds of torque you'll find on those 1.8s. Now the, the great thing about that is not only does it have more torque and more horsepower, you also get a little better fuel economy. Now this car right now is rated at about 40 miles per gallon on the highway versus the 38 miles per gallon on the highway that you'll find on the regular 1.8 four-cylinder. Now of course the hybrid is going to get over 50 but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the SE that's the drivetrain. Let's take a look at the interior. As you step in the interior of this SE, it does look quite sporty. It has a lot of nice accents throughout. You do have a lot of standard features. Of course, power windows and door locks, power outside mirror standard on this vehicle. You will have a manual driver's seat standard with a manual up-down lever to raise you and lower you. There is an upgrade for that. You have your sport seating. Now, this is not the soft tech trim like there were on the previous generation, but I really like this fabric. It's real comfortable, looks great in this vehicle. The stitching and the trim around the vehicle I think look great. They did a great job on that. The dash looks sporty. I mean, it's, uh, it's quite, quite a nice look as you step in. There's your instrument cluster, MID screen, steering wheel with all your controls on there. Auto headlights, of course, I'll talk about that in a minute. Eight inch touchscreen radio, backup camera, Apple CarPlay standard. You look up top, boom, safety connect standard. Okay, plus Wi-Fi. Now safety connects basically a satellite tracking, automatic crash response alert, uh, pretty nice features. Uh, like I said, Wi-Fi. Your HVAC controls are easy to see and use. Of course, you have your sport drive mode. Electronic power parking brake. Step into the back. As you open up the back, you'll notice it looks quite roomy even though I've been sitting here. There's still room for people to sit. The trim continues back here. One of my favorite features back here, the easy to access latch positions for those of you that have car seats or children that need to ride back here. Let's take a look at the safety. Now, I wasn't gonna let you go without talking about safety since Toyota goes through great effort to make their vehicle some of the safest on the market. Standard on this vehicle, eight airbags. You're gonna want the airbags, especially if you have families. Standard for a 2020 Corolla, 
you pick up the Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. This is an upgrade from the Toyota Safety Sense P that was standard on last year. Now, this is standard on all trims. You will carry over the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, and radar cruise control. And in addition to that, on the 2.0, you'll pick up full speed radar cruise control. To go along with that, lane tracing assist to help keep you centered in lane while you're using your radar cruise control, road sign assist to help detect some of the road signs. Also, you'll pick up cyclist detection, and also low light pedestrian detection. All great features, you're gonna to wanna to have them. Safe vehicle on your next Corolla. Thank you for joining me for another product video. This one was on the 2020 Toyota Corolla SE. It's a great car, a lot of standard features. You're gonna to wanna to get one. Don't forget to like, comment, share my videos. Check out my other videos on my channel. And if you're here watching this video, you did the time to search, make sure you subscribe to my channel while you're here you won't want to miss my other videos. I appreciate you for watching. Follow the Fist Pumped Enterprise.